In this video, I show you how to fix Face ID not working. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. If you're getting a message which looks something like this saying Face ID is not available, or alternatively, it just says move iPhone a little bit lower, even though it's perfect, or even just your Face ID isn't working in general, then I'll be showing you a load of fixes we can go and try. They're just some screenshots I found on the web of examples. Now, I'm going to be explaining multiple different methods in this video to make sure you watch the full video because they're all going to vary quite a lot. Some are going to be more physical things and some things are going to be software based. So the first thing you need to do is make sure nothing is blocking your camera. So make sure you know, a broken case isn't covering it or like a broken screen protector or just make sure it's completely clear and maybe clean it a bit as well because sometimes some muck may be blocking it or part of it or a tiny even particle maybe. The next thing you want to do is make sure nothing is blocking your face or something which what is on your face now, which wasn't when you first set up your, your face ID. So if you've got glasses on, take those off. If you've got a mask on, take those off or just anything which may be on your face, try taking it off to see if that makes a difference. Now, they're the main physical things you can try. The next thing I recommend doing is making sure your iPhone is up to date. If it's running an old software, then this may be causing the problem. Open up your phone, open up the settings app, just like so, and scroll down and go and tap on general, and then go and tap on software update, just like so, and then it's gonna go and check for updates to see if there are any available. As you can see in this case, I've actually got an update available, so I should go and install this to see if it makes any impact. If that still isn't working, then what I recommend doing is just fully restarting your phone, not just locking it, but actually restarting it. To do that you need to hold the power button and the increase volume button just like so and this is going to go and give you a few different options as you can see it says slide to power off so what you need to do is drag it across just like so and then your phone is going to completely power off and then to restart it you just hold the power button it will take a few seconds to actually power off after you drag that though so give it around a few seconds and then power it back on and that should go and fully reset your iPhone now for this next method go back to your settings just like so and you need to go and find your face ID settings just like this and I'm going to quickly sign in just now now what I recommend you do is go and click on set up an alternative appearance. What this means is that Face ID is just going to go and rescan your face and go and add your new appearance with your old one as well. So click on set up a new appearance just like so. So go and complete this and see if it goes and fixes the problem. If setting up an alternative appearance still doesn't work then what I recommend doing is tapping on reset Face ID just like so and then you can go and reset it up again and hopefully that's going to go and fix the problem. Sometimes just rescanning your face and setting it up from scratch is going to go and resolve the issue. However, if that still isn't working, then what you need to do is come back to your settings, just like so. And the final thing I recommend doing is fully resetting your iPhone. So make sure you fully back your iPhone up to iCloud uh, or your computer. So it backs up all your contacts, your photos and everything important. And then once you've backed it up, go to general, just like so, and scroll to the bottom. Then go and press on transfer or reset iPhone. And then you want to go and tap on erase all content and settings just like this. And hopefully that's gonna go and resolve the problem if nothing else has. Now, if it still isn't working after all these methods and it may be worth getting in contact with Apple support and you may be able to go and take your phone into a shop and go and get it properly fixed. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.